Paper is one of my favorite crafting supplies. Add a little glue and aluminum foil and you have a great frame like this one right here. I'm gonna show you how you can add all this texture and color here in a couple seconds. But first, let's take a look at what we're gonna to need to make this frame. You're gonna start with aluminum foil. We need some Q-tips, some toothpicks, some colorful markers, permanent markers, cardstock in whatever color you want, a craft knife, a pencil, ruler, some foam board, a glue stick, tacky glue, scotch tape, and a pop tab. Okay, so we're gonna start by cutting our frame. And you're gonna need some help with this from an adult because we're gonna use a craft knife and I've got my protective work surface down so you don't scratch up your table either. That's really important. So the first thing you're gonna do is measure out the dimensions of your frame. My frame is gonna be nine by eight inches, but you can make yours, you know, whatever size you want. So we're gonna come down here and mark nine inches in two spots on the board. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. This is where a parent or your grandparent can help you because this thing is really sharp and I don't want you to hurt yourself. Okay, so that, I need to cut through that one more time. Okay, and then we'll come over here and measure eight inches. Okay. And one more time. And that will give us our straight cut. Okay. I bet you can help with the measuring part of this though. All right. So we've got our basic frame shape. The next thing we're gonna do is go around and cut out the center. So you're gonna measure in whatever dimension you want, or on mine, I'm gonna do two and a quarter inches. And it's gonna be just like before where we measure in on each side, and then we're gonna connect all of our lines. And I have one actually ready right here. And this is just where we've connect, connected all of the dots, okay? So then you're gonna use your ruler, and your craft knife and start exactly on the corner and then carefully stop right at the other corner and then just turn it and keep going on around the frame. So now for the fun part. This is actually where you get to do a little bit of drawing and doodling. And I've already started, but you wanna just draw some really, really simple designs. It does, you don't have to get crazy. You can um, make geometric designs like triangles. You can put a little dot on the inside. You can make stripes. That's always fun. It's whatever you want, but you just wanna keep your overall design really, really simple. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is start filling in our design with this really thick tacky glue. And you'll wanna go ahead and start the flow of the glue on a separate thing so I'm all ready to go on a scrap piece of paper over there. And now we're just gonna carefully outline our shapes. And you wanna keep it really thick. We would call this a thick bead of glue. And you just keep going around. You can do your scalloped edges here. And you're gonna do that for your entire design. And then you're gonna set that aside to dry. So to highlight that texture, we're gonna put a piece of foil down and I'm putting the shiny side down and we're gonna put the design side of our frame down also. And you wanna leave mm, about two inches around on all the sides. And then what you're gonna do is fold in your edges, like almost like you're wrapping up a present. So let's go ahead and fold those in and before we fold in the last sides, we're just gonna cut an X with your craft knife. And don't worry if this tears because you're not actually gonna see it. I'll just cut an X through the center, like so. 
foil is tears really easy, so I should have been a little bit more gentle. And actually, once we get this all folded up, we're gonna need some glue stick. You wanna use glue stick on your paper surfaces so it sticks really well. And you would just go around the entire frame and then fold this all over. And fold your corners in and then just finish it off like a package like we talked about earlier. And I've got one ready right here. Okay, now for the fun part. You're gonna actually take your Q-tip and start pushing in to your design and that is how you can see all of your texture. And then, for the really, really fun part, you can use your permanent markers and start coloring in your design, almost like a coloring book. You can make this as colorful as you want, or you could use all the whole, you know, the entire thing be the same color. Okay, now to make it into the frame, you're just gonna flip it over and you can use your, let's use our tacky glue to glue the paper onto the back of the frame just to kind of hide all our crazy aluminum foil edges. And then you're gonna glue a pop tab to the top so it has something to hang from. And then you can use tape to seal up your sides. Don't seal all of the sides because then you won't be able to pop your picture into the frame. So let's take a look at our beautiful frame. I love how radiant these colors are against the metal foil. It's almost like a stained glass window.